Hello and welcome to the entrant. The topic for today's discussion is one of the most relevant topics under the Indian family laws. Classification of marriage under Islamic law holds great importance when it comes to questions asked in competitive exams. Let us start off by understanding a little about Muslim marriages. Muslim marriage or nikah is held as a legal civil contract between a man and a woman carried out on the basis of ijab or kabul. Ijab is the proposal from one party and kabul is the acceptance from the other. According to Sharia law, this contract is considered to be integral to a religiously valid Islamic marriage that legalizes sexual relationship between the man and the woman to produce children. The contract is never permanent and can be broken at the will of the husband and wife. It is not considered to be a sacrament or sacred, but a social contract of obligation between a man and woman to live together and to procreate children. Muslim marriages can be broadly classified into four types. Sahih nikah or a valid marriage, Batil nikah or a void marriage, Fasid nikah, an irregular marriage, and muta marriage, which is a pleasure marriage. Sahi nikah or valid marriage. The term sahi is an Urdu expression for the word correct or valid, and as already explained, nikah means marriage. When all the essential conditions of a Muslim marriage are duly fulfilled, it is called a sahi nikah. It means if two Muslim persons one being the man and the other woman enter into an agreement by way of offer and acceptance and the groom has paid the meher for the marriage to the bride, it is considered to be a valid marriage. In case of permanent prohibitions, the marriage would be void and if the prohibitions are temporary, then the marriage is considered to be irregular. The effects of a valid marriage. The cohabitation between the husband and the wife becomes lawful. The children born out of a valid marriage are considered to be legitimate and they have the right to inherit their parents' properties. Mutual rights of inheritance between the husband and wife are established. That is to say, after the death of the husband, the wife is entitled to inherit the husband's properties and after the wife's death, the husband may also inherit her properties. Prohibited relationship for purposes of marriage is created between the husband and wife and each of them is prohibited to marry the relations of the other within the prohibited degrees. The wife's right to claim dower is fully established just after the completion of the marriage. The marriage gives to the wife also the right of maintenance from her husband with immediate effect. After the dissolution of the marriage, the widow or the divorced wife is under an obligation to observe the iddat, during which she cannot remarry. Batil nikah or void marriage When the agreement between a prospective bride and a groom does not meet all the essential conditions of a Muslim marriage, it is considered to be a void agreement and any marriage that takes place in furtherance of a void agreement. The marriage is void ab initio and creates no rights or obligations and the children born out of such a marriage are considered to be illegitimate. A marriage forbidden by the rules of blood relationship affinity or fosterage is void. Similarly, a marriage with the wife of another or a divorced wife during Idda period is also void. When a marriage takes place between persons who are absolutely incapable of providing valid consent or when a person marries the wife of another man when the marriage of the lady was subsisting, marrying more than four wives, in such a case, the fifth marriage and so on becomes void and the marriage with the non-Muslim is considered to be a void marriage. Fasid nikah or irregular marriage When a marriage is conducted by violating certain or partial conditions of a valid marriage, it is called an irregular marriage. Due to lack of some formality or the existence of an impediment which can be rectified, a marriage becomes irregular. However, if this irregularity is not permanent in nature and can be removed, it can be made valid once the prohibitions are rectified. In general, an irregular marriage is voidable marriage and not void ab initio. 
irregular marriages exist only in the case of Sunni Muslims, whereas an irregular marriage under Shia law is a void marriage. Some instances include a marriage contracted without the required number of witnesses or a marriage prohibited on account of difference of religion. Muta marriage. The term literally means pleasure marriage. Muta marriage is a temporary agreement for a limited time period upon which both the parties agreed. There is also a prescribed minimum or maximum time limit. It can be for a day, a month or a year. The marriage dissolves itself after the expiration of the decided period. However, if no such time limit was expressed or written, the marriage will be presumed permanent. This type of marriage is not approved by the Sunni Muslims, but it is considered legitimate by the Twelve or Shia sect, which is predominant in Iran and constitutes 90% of India's Shia population. It cannot be an inter indeterminate period of time. However, just like in Nikah, the bride must get some monetary benefit. No witnesses are required for a muta marriage. And just like in any other contract, the woman being a party can lay down conditions for her sexual union throughout this time period. This can also include her daily maintenance. Her temporary husband must respect these conditions. The marriage automatically dissolves at the end of the stated period. No matter how short the duration was, the woman has to practice abstinence lasting up to two menstrual cycles. I hope this video was helpful in providing a simple and clear understanding of the classification of marriages under Islamic law. For any further queries, please drop your questions in the comment box below. Please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel.